Al-Aqidah, that, that what we believe in and what we work upon is the most important science of all sciences. It is actually most imp more important than morals and conducts. Because many people, they say, oh, I don't care what you believe in. What, is, what I really care is about your akhlaq, your manners. If your manners are good and you're good with people, then I'm okay with it. But for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a lot of people are good. You know, those celebrities, they donate millions of dollars for charity organizations. But they don't believe in Allah. Most of them are atheists, right? For us, it's not us to judge them, but Allah only judge them, right? What is important for us to learn is the science of knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if we are working upon Islam the right way, then we will have the best morals and conducts because nothing comes bad from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything comes from Allah is good. And we're going to talk about this when I talk about Qadr, about the, the final destiny uh, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is even more important than salah and worship because aqidah, if you are standing in salah and you don't believe in Allah, then what's the use? There are so many people you know, they feel that they are obligated to stand in the prayer and just show people that they are praying. But inside their heart, they don't play. They don't really believe in anything. They don't pray. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us, right? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us that iman and faith and that what we believe in, we act upon. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for sincerity in everything that we do. I mean, now the last thing is tawheed. Tawheed, it means monotheism. It means to believe in one God alone, Allah, and not to worship any other God. Tawheed is the foundation of Islam. And we all know that there are five pillars of Islam. And the first one is shahadatin, to bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and to bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. And in that Tawheed, there are six beliefs, and I'm going to be explaining that in next lectures, inshallah, when I talk about the six beliefs. It's to believe in, the, in that there is only one God, Allah, and he is only worthy to be worshipped. To believe in the angels, to believe in the uh, books, to believe in the prophets, to believe in the day of judgment, and to believe in the final destiny. Those are the six beliefs. Now, when I say that Tawheed, Tawheed does not mean only to believe in one God, but you have to show that action, you know, also in, in, your, in your deeds, you know. For example, everything that you do has to show Tawheed. So if you are in the street, right, and you pass by a church, you know, as a person who is monotheist, you don't go inside a church and you start praying for Jesus. That is not considered tawheed. That becomes polytheism, shirk. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not accept shirk. If someone, if someone, for example, do something good, but they start feeling arrogant about it, what they do is they love themselves more than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? They see themselves they are better than other people. So they start worshipping themselves. That's shirk. That's considered shirk, like polytheism. Now, there is shirk akbar and shirk azhar. These little things, you know, that comes to our heart, it can actually, uh, the shaitan can try to make it bigger and bigger and bigger until he actually pushes us outside of Islam. So we have to be very careful about these things. We want our kids to be in the best schools and we want them to study. We want them to go to university and be doctors and engineers. But we don't care about if they read Quran. We don't care if they are wearing a hijab. We don't care if they are praying. We don't care if they really understand Islam or not. Then what's your use? Where is your tawheed in here? What is your, where is your practical faith that is on earth? You know, you are, you are the one who, are, who is teaching your kids to become good Muslims. Subhanallah. And the Prophet Sallallahu he said, you know, everyone is born on the fitra. Fitra means the in it. Everyone has this little thing that knows that there is only one God. And I think the most people that I understand that are the reverts. They know that when before they became Muslim, that there was something, there was something missing in their heart. And they were yearning. And I'm telling you from my own exp experience, because I was also Christian and became Muslim, right? 
I, I was yearning to know the truth. I was yearning to go and, and know God, the true God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And once I knew Allah in Islam, it's kind of aligned with my fitrah, with what I already have in it, that I have this good feeling about it, that yes, there is only one God, Allah, right? And this fitrah is born with that person, right? But then subhanAllah, the parents, what they do, yuhawidunahu, yuhawidana, that means they make this child to become a Jew, or yunassirana, or they make him become a Christian, or yumajisana, yumajisana means like to make them as a worship, uh, fire worshippers, or also in our modern context, they became, they became atheist or other religions, right? Our responsibility as parents to teach our kids tawheed, to teach our kids the true meaning of Islam, you know, by being us being our uh, role models for others, subhanAllah. The Quran took about 23 years to be revealed, to be revealed all together from the beginning till the end, right? But the first 13 years, the Prophet ﷺ lived in Mecca. And in those 13 years, you know, the salah, the prayer was not established yet, right? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intended to teach Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and te the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to teach his people tawheed. So the first 13 years, it was dedicated by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace and blessings be upon him, to his companions to teach him only aqidah. Aqidah means the belief of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how to act upon our belief and be sincere in our worships. Subhanallah. How profound is, is, this is and how beautiful it is. So it's very important that we learn the aqidah and establish it in our heart. So in, in order to go on uh, as a Muslims. Unfortunately, there are so new Muslims that I know. And it is un, un, unfortunate, you know, that they become Muslim. They love the concept of tawheed. They love the concept of monotheism and things like that. They say the shahada, but no one teach them how to do the prayer. They no one teach them how to connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the first tribulation happened to them. The first test happened to them. They just leave Islam. And how many stories that we he hear about that, either in the masajid or our friends or something like that, especially like when they come, they do the shahada. And then the next time, maybe the next time we'll see them again in the masjid. But then after that, they stop coming to the masjid. What happened to them? We don't know. That's only between them and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. I mean.